So one of the new features of the Note is the ability to use your finger to unlock your phone just like you can with the S5. So let me show you how you do that. So you're going to go into settings as we did here. Uh, fast way to do it is just tapping on that, uh, that search icon there. I'm going to type in finger. Fingerprint scanner shows up. And the next step now is to register your fingerprints. So the first thing you're going to do is, and, and one of the things that you'll notice here is there's a couple things that you're going to be able to do. You can use it for web sign-ons, for verifying your Samsung account, paying with PayPal, and, and this list is going to grow longer and longer, just as what you see with Apple and Apple Pay. I'm going to hit OK. And now what it's going to ask me to do is to register my fingerprint. Now I'm going to show you something. Uh, one of the biggest mistakes that folks make is that everybody rubs or, or registers their finger in the same direction uh, when they are registering the finger. What I recommend you do is you, re you swipe it in multiple areas or directions so that it can get the most complete fingerprint. So I'm going to swipe like this. That was one. I'm going to swipe it at an angle. Because sometimes when you're swiping, you may not swipe uh, exactly the same way. I'm going to swipe the tip. That wasn't enough. That was a full swipe. I'm going to swipe it this way now. I'm going to swipe it this way. And yes, I'm even going to swipe it upside down. And I'm going to swipe it back. I'll swipe again in another angle. I'll try to swipe as little as I can as a tip. So now it's been completely, um, I've swiped it multiple ways and I've done it all different angles. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to register, um, I'm going to register another finger. So let's go with the next one. I'm going to use my thumb. Swipe down. Swipe in an angle. Try to just swipe the tip. Swipe it this way. Swipe it this way. As many ways as you can think of so that you can get the various ways that you may hold the phone. So let's say, for example, I'm holding the phone like this. I want to swipe it that way. I may hold it this way. You know, I may be holding the phone in landscape mode, so I'll do it like this as well. All right. The next step here is to uh, put in a password just in case your fingerprint doesn't work. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, once I've uh, put in my uh, my code for unlocking the phone, um, just in case my fingerprint doesn't work, the next thing is it's asking me, would I like uh, the phone to be locked? And the only way I can open it is either with my code or my fingerprint. I'm going to say OK. So I have one finger registered. I did my thumb. I'm going to register another one. Uh, it's going to ask me to swipe. Oh, let's do the whole thing again. Let's hold it like this. OK, it went through. I'm going to do press the plus. I'm going to hit OK. And I had re-registered my finger the last time, so I'm going to do do this one because I overwrote it with my with my thumb. Again, doing all the different angles. Do it this way. Yep. Swipe up even. I'll do it upside down. I'll do it this way. Just a tip. There you go angle like this. Oh, got to do it this way. And now I have um, that fingered. So I got two now. Now the other thing I'm going to do is just do one more. And again, all you're going to do is the same thing. I like uh, doing both hands just in case. I use the thumb on this side. And again, you're going to be rotating as many ways as you can so that you can get um, more flexibility when you're doing the scan. And it just makes it scan uh, much better. So that's all you have to do and that's a tip on how you can scan and the next time you swipe your finger it's going to recognize it because you've done it in so many different ways. So now that you've uh, registered your fingers, a couple things. We've already set up the ability to do it uh, where we use your fingerprint to sign in um, when you uh, to turn on your phone. Let's go back to that for a second. Now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to set it up for web sign-on. So again, this is for websites that will support it. What I'll do is um, I won't have to, my passwords are going to be stored on the phone and the next time I swipe my finger, it's going to use uh, my fingerprint to actually sign in. And you notice that the, that data uh, can be deleted by going into internet, settings, and privacy. So I'm going to go back now. And the other thing I can do is um, I could also use that for my Samsung account or if I wanted to do it with PayPal, as I said in the previous video. So that's how you can register or enable web sign-on 
uh, using your fingerprint.